Uh, let's talk about something interesting. Now, artists tend to be strategic about their stage name as it represents their brand and what they stand for, even though along the way they tend to gain other names, nicknames either by themselves or given to them by fans. For a fact, having nicknames, monikers or descriptions for Nigerian artists has established a significant subculture in the music industry with new artists coming into the music scene with ready-made nicknames that quickly expand on their growing fan base. Today, we'll be talking about Nigerian artists who have nicknames. Why? Because this is Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch me. Yes, first on our list is Olamide, a.k.a. Bado, popularly known as the baddest guy I ever leave it, which was the name of his third studio album. The rapper got the nickname Bado, a moniker that struck a chord with his fans and friends. Bado was immediately accepted by the streets and his supporters as his hard-hitting rap bars and flows demonstrated that he was genuinely bad, and his street credibility verified his fulfillment of the name by being termed Badu. Eh, Badu. Baddest guy ever leave it. Badu. Eh, Badu. It, it actually fits him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just like the, there are different variations of this bad, which I, I, I think we'll talk about <laughs> later. Bad. For him, that Badu, it's now really hit the Nigerian or the Yoruba yeah. factor yeah. Yeah. Oh, in there. So I think it was just perfect for his brand. Mm -hmm. And he adds to that flavor mm -hmm. of Olamide. Yeah, true that. Yeah. True that. And then whenever anybody says Bado, anywhere, anytime, any day, anywhere, Olamide is the first person that, that comes, comes to your mind. mind. You're yeah. like, ah, where are they? Where are they? Where are All right, also on our list, we have Davido, a.k.a. Obio Bades. Obio is an acronym for the word Omo Babaolowo, meaning the child of a wealthy man. The name is, however, not exclusively linked with Davido, but it became popularized by him after his debut album, which had various smash hits, was called Omo Babaolowo. For the video, this nickname is a cheeky, self-assured statement on his opulent background as the last son of a billionaire and business magnate. Mm. Obio, Obio. <laughs> <laughs> This is another one that's really fitting. I mean, he's really Obio. Mm -hmm. And he has, I know that it's not, it wasn't, it didn't start with him, mm -hmm. but yeah. somehow I feel like any other yeah, person... And yeah, anybody else, other person saying Obi is like, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> yes, you know you're the son, you know, you know you you the son of a rich man, but um, forget. Now they don't get out. <laughs> then <laughs> now he has even now um, done the 30BG yeah. thing. Now, yeah. So not only does he have his name as mm -hmm. Obi, he now has his it's fans. Clay, his fans his now ways, have yeah. a name. Now, you know, you can be associated with that mm -hmm. 30BG. 30 30 so yeah. It's awesome for him. All right, still uh, talking about uh, celebrities that have nicknames. The very next person on our list is Tiwasa. Beach, aka African Bad Girl or Mama Jam Jam, anyone you want. Now, the singer broke into the male dominated Nigerian music industry in 2013 with her seductive brand and style, which led to her being dubbed the African Bad Girl. Now, later on in 2015, Tiwa Savage gave birth to a son, Jamil Balogun, who, like his mom, became a household name following a baby product advert that brought her and her sons closer to Nigerians. Since then, Jamil became fondly referred to by not just his mother, but fans of his mother as Jam Jam and Tiwa Savage as Mama Jam Jam. Jam. Hmm. I remember that Kiss Daniel song uh, when they were doing that FU challenge, mm -hmm. uh, Victoria Kimani's verse. She didn't mention name, mm -hmm. but when she mentioned Africa Bad Girl, we knew mm. who she was referring to. Exactly. <laughs> like, and this, this one, uh, this particular name is like, it's now really, we're seeing the light of the name. You know, as an African person, they say, Man. you know, be careful what you call yourself because it can be attracted. Uh, uh, it's bad or bad? Eh? It's bad or bad? Ah. Well, mm. maybe well, one day we'll see. <laughs> one day we're going to know. One day, one day we'll get to know about it. One day we're going to know. Okay, African, but I'm not talking about it. African, but girls, about maybe don't change your style. Yes, understand. now you know they say when you yes. when you're going to give someone even your back cut, they call it Oriki. Oriki. So. Oh, when you give someone <laughs> name, you should understand the meaning of the name because in the nearest future they oh. won't be the names. <laughs> also on our list we have Burner Boy, aka African Giant or Odogu. Mm. This nickname came about after a 2019 social media outburst when Burner called out popular American music festival Coachella for printing his name in small <laughs> font on the flyer of their event. According to him, that was an act he found unbefitting of his status as an African giant as he so described himself during his rant. 
That episode, however, inspired the title of his next album, which her name is first Grammy nomination and that self-given title stuck ever since. Burner Boy then had yet another self-christening moment with the release of his first song of the year 2020 called Odogu, a title from the eastern part of Nigeria, which the Igbos used to describe a great man, a warrior, and a hero. Mm -hmm. And I remember this, as in, I remember this Odogu name cost uh, a lot of rockers. Some people were saying, why would you call Bona Odogu? Even David Dole is this, that, that. And even uh, Chief Priest, uh, what's his name? Chief Priest Kubana mm -hmm. was saying that David Dole is the real Odogu, this, that, that. But at the end of the they day, oh, could, nah, that, Bonner, could it be the one that David Dole was talking to in Femme when he said, tell Odogu that we like to party? Mm. Uh, is it the one? Mm. You know, you can always answer that question. Ask me. Yeah. Now, who yeah. are the one? You're the one that is the music I head mean. amongst all of us. I'm just, I'm just asking. <laughs> answer the question. But, but this, this name, Africa Giant Odogu, bragging rights, yeah. and it's living up to the name. Yeah. Yes, he is. And any day, any You time. know, I think with Burner Boy, he owns it. You know, yeah. it starts off as we're teasing him. Kind of like with other people as well. But with the Burner Boy, we're hailing the rest, but Burner Boy, we're teasing him, we're being sarcastic. Boy, stay. Boy, stick. <laughs> Whether I like it or not, now initially we're like, ah, I'm trying to uh, ah, uh, Odogu, ah. Don't write my name in small letter. You know, right but my now, name in letter. when you think of Odogu, yeah. you now think of Burner Boy. And then so. the other boy, people give them the names, but he said, I am the African giant. Mm. My album. African oh. giant. I think we still have like three months to go from Burner Boy. Ah. Let's yeah. just keep it working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no matter, it's a lot. All right, the fifth person on our list, definitely not the least of the bunch. Mm -hmm. Whisk Kid, aka Star Boy, aka Machala or Big Wiz. What's your favorite, guys? All right, so now <laughs> over the years, Whisk Kid has earned himself so many nicknames. And some of them got it from his songs. But lately, some have stuck. Either he's called Starboy Machala, and most recently his fans are calling him Big Wiz. The nickname Starboy became popular in 2013 after Wizkid launched his Starboy records after his exit from Banky W's EME Records. On the other hand, Machala is a nickname that has been well received by the Wizkid FC. The meaning and the origin of the moniker, however, appears to be a thing of a legend as there isn't one particular answer to it. And even to date, it is still unclear. And the internet search doesn't even seem to provide a conclusive meaning. But according to them, it is reported to denote <laughs> greatness. <laughs> you know, it's only whiskey greatness. that can actually form a word. Ma. Maybe it was even like a mistake or something. Then now we're just like, whiskey said it so, it it's is so. <laughs> Small I, I like it. Machala. I won't be surprised some people are naming their children Machala. <laughs> you know, I won't be surprised. Uh, the Starboy thing, I get it because of the Starboy record. And I'm particularly excited about Big Wiz. Yeah. Which is very hard. Yeah. Because, uh, yes, we've seen a whole lot of artists try, trying to switch their growing. Uh, Liu Bawa, 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 Bawa yeah. Liu Romeo, Romeo, Liu Wayne. Nobody will call you Wiz Wayne. Kid. Oh, he's telling you, he's dropping the kid. Kid, so it's not a big, big Wiz. Wiz. It's not a kid anymore. Okay, let, let's see. <laughs> two, two Face, Two Baba. Two Baba, yeah. you're still calling Two Face. Uh, let's see how that goes, though. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs>